Hello. Today I'm going crazy with Jeanette. We're going to look at all the babies that I have. Some baby oaks and some baby ficus and a baby peperomia. Um, so we're going to check in on everybody and see how they're doing. Okay, here we go. show and I'm glad you're here. Here we go. First of all, I've got to show off my friend Elise's artwork. She did a drawing of my dog. This is Kukla and she, I just, the eyes on it are so soulful. Such a beautiful job. Thank you so much Elise. I look at it every day. She looks at me every day. And here's the actual dog. There she is. There's my girl. Hi, girl. Okay, real quick, we're going to zip around. Go back to the plants. Josephine is doing well. The snake plant, as usual. She's very uneventful. But, you know, sometimes that's a good thing. And then we have little baby oak trees. This one is Hadley. And he's a brand new baby. And this one is Wyatt. He's very small. He's right there. Tiny little guy. But that's how it starts. Did you know that out of a thousand acorns, only one will grow into an oak tree? This is a peperomia. P-E-P-E-R-O-M-I-A. M as in monster. It is kind of sounds like pepperoni, but it's not. And I just found out recently that it can be rooted. So it's some sort of succulent. And I named her Eloise, and I'm giving this one to my friend Jenny. I'm in trouble with Echo, my violet. She is a Persian white violet, and I only have three leaves left on her right now, and they don't look too good. Here's the other leaf. It's stuck behind Wyatt. Let me move this over. Yeah. One leaf is crinkled. One leaf is yellow. And this is the only good leaf I have. I had fertilized him. I fertilized all my plants, so he, he wasn't like getting special treatment or anything. But evidently he didn't like it and he started slowly dying off. So what I did was I took him outside and I repotted him. I massaged his roots to get all of the soil out from there as much as I could. And I put him in fresh soil. So we're gonna see if he makes it, but there's only a couple leaves and they're not too healthy. So I don't think that the pin, that the violet is going to make it. I told you, I'm just not good with violets. I tried. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Anyway, there are plenty of other plants for me to worry about. So we'll focus on them. Maybe I'll get another one and try, and try it again someday. Anyway, my shamrocks are doing well. I've had these for 17 years. So evidently I can grow shamrocks. That's a good thing. They're hardy though. This is Nyla and Harlow. Okay, these are Nyla and Harlow, a couple of red buds. They're eastern red buds and they're going to root and they have heart-shaped little leaves which are kind of mashed in there right now. But he's in a pretzel container. He's uh, getting some nice CO2 in there and hopefully growing roots. He's got some root hormone on his base and he's in his peat moss. So we will see. They're hard to root so I'm not really expecting much but we'll see what happens you never know why not give it a shot and then of course I've got Eve General Casement and Suki the trio up here looking good as always my spider plants only some of them though because over here we've got OC and she's my biggest spider plant I have to back up to fit her in frame but that's okay I had to trim her because the dogs like to sit at this window and look outside and watch the family of foxes that lives underneath our shed, which is pretty fascinating, I've got to say. I wish I could see more of them. Um, but anyway, the little spider plant shoots were really bothering the dogs, so I trimmed them off. And that's why our spider plant looks kind of butch. That's okay. This is Odysseus. You've seen him before. He's my massive staghorn fern. 
I just took him and watered him yesterday, and he is really fun to handle, let me tell you. Getting him through doorways is not easy. But that's all right. I love him, and I'm glad he's humongous. Wouldn't have him any other way. As far as the spores, these are staghorn spores because I'm trying to root one. It takes eight months. I had them in this jar, and I had them in peat moss and perlite like you're supposed to, and I misted them and everything, and I checked on them and checked on them, and they seemed to be doing fine. And then one day they were growing mold. So I had to start over. And we have new spores that are starting on the bottom of the staghorn fern. You can see them coming in right here. Once they turn rust color, they're ready to go. And I've got a bunch of them. All of the leaves underneath, these are actually turning rust color right now. If you can see there, see? So I'm, I'll be able to plant more. But right now I have some spores in there and in November we will see if they grow into anything. So it sounds far away but all I have to do is keep the jar moist and hopefully they'll grow. They're in good light because we've got this awesome bright skylight in here. And then down here I've got Bessie, Kiko, and Sigsby and they're doing pretty well I guess. They're just little guys. A couple little plants Oh no, this one isn't doing well at all. Okay, I take that back. That's not good. I have a dead tortellini plant. See that? That was a tortellini plant. Evidently, he had too much water. Okay, so there are only two plants in here now. I gotta figure out which is which. Anyway, next... We've got Jinju and Lilu, little air plants. And then over here we've got Atreus and Agamemnon, a couple of funky, funky jade plants that I have. We've got Iggy, a present from my friend Carol and Jim. And I've got Taja, the fern. This fern is growing. She's doing really well. She's got a new shoot here. And she's got a new shoot coming up right here, too. She's so... It's an asparagus fern. She's so lacy and delicate and small. I love her. And then I've got a couple of ficus babies right here. I named them Alora and Zia. And they are in dirt with some moss over them. And I think they look pretty. They're going to friends. They're going to my friend Jenny and her daughter, so, uh, Autumn. And I'm giving one to my friend Jody Lee. If I ever see her, because she's busy. Um, but anyway, we've got Scotty P over here, my ficus, with the raised roots, who just looks phenomenal, and I love him. I like the bowl he's in, because it's cracked and misshapen on purpose. Gives him character. And then down here... I've got Lily that is not a lily, and she's my friend Elise has the main mama plant, and she gave me this cutting, and I'm growing her well. Yay. Another ficus back here. This is Oscar. He's got some new growth. And I've got Sylvia right here, a little, uh, what's she called, calico. This one doesn't really do much of anything. It just kind of hangs there. But that's okay. And then this is Una, my uh, angel wing begonia. And she's got a new leaf on her. And she's growing a new one right here. This little guy right there. There's going to be a new leaf. And then we've got Aja. This is the peperomia mother plant that I just rooted that little plant from. And this is what it will look like someday. It was too tall, so right here is where I lopped it off because it had a big piece coming up and it was hitting the bottom of the shelf, so I couldn't have that. It was aesthetically wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, it got butchered. And then we've got Kaya up here. And I started a little baby plant of her because I accidentally, I was repotting her and I accidentally broke off some of her uh, little edges here, some of her ends. 
So I planted her in this little plant right here, in this little container right here. And I have an oak tree in the center, so hopefully, well, an acorn. So we will see if an oak tree comes out of there or not. And that would be really neat. And we've got another air plant over here. This is Ariel. She's really neat looking on the bottom. Let me show you. She's really, really neat. Look at that. And all you have to do is just spray water on her once every couple of days. Very easy to take care of. I've got some new growth on Leona here. You can see there are a couple of new leaves forming right here. That's good. So that's a promising sign because I repotted her since I brought her home from the plant store. More shamrocks. This is Lorelei. This is the one that I had to repot from the grocery store and she's only maybe two months old. Anyway, she's coming back. And then I have <clears throat> Zara, uh, another spider plant in water, and Seji, another spider plant in soil. Whew, I've got a lot of plants. Then I've got this, this one is Whisper. She's a different kind of jade. I'm not sure about the different types of jade, but I will look that up and we'll do a show on it. So that's everybody. Oh, I forgot to show you. I have a couple of ficus right here rooting. And then I have Noah, my little uh, forsythia rooting right here. And in the cheese balls container, we have a magnolia named Aaron. So we will see if these root. And they get light from both sides because the kitchen also has skylights. See? So that's cool. So they get skylights in two places, Kitten them. I'm hoping that'll be all it needs to root them. Well, that about does it. It was really nice seeing you today. Um, if you want to, check back and look at all my old episodes. If you get bored. And there'll be new ones coming out at least once a week. I try to keep them current. So, thanks for watching, and love ya. Bye.